welcome. This is the full moon energy vibration um, reading for the fire sign people. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Um, this is the month of November. This reading is timeless. Remember, all my readings are timeless. If you'd like to pick up the extended to this reading, use the link below. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Whatever the issue is, whatever is, whatever is plain, please. Uh, I want to, um, you to know thank you so much for your likes and, and share. And thank you for um, the support that you guys are given. Okay. Um, ladies and gentlemen, um, this full moon, um, please be careful out there. All right. Because Elf of Elf has just opened um, different gateways and situations are happening and transpiring. So be aware of that sort of a thing that is happening and transpiring. So whatever the issue is and the situation is, um, we are definitely going to be looking at that. So um, let's look and see what is transpiring. In the first house, I'm seeing some unexpected things. It's going to be coming in the first house. Now, when you, when Uranus comes, is that some of you are going to be uh, conf being confronted with yourself, okay? Uranus is just really going to be confronted with uh, yourself as who you are. I am seeing in the energy of family, I'm seeing a huge blow up in the family, whatever that is transpiring. <coughs> Sorry. A huge blow up in the family. I'm seeing that some of you are going to um, be in the process of just connecting with yourself in love. Secrets um, with a reputation in um, the house of coming to the edge. I'm seeing some of you come to the edge with a thing and then all of a sudden your luck come in. I'm seeing Elin coming in the house of the, 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 the Pisces. So whatever is transpiring, I'm seeing Elin coming in the house of the Pisces. Okay. So if some of you have whatever issues and situation with the Pisces, I'm seeing Elin coming in the house. So your luck is in the 11th house um, and the 11th house is the house of the Aquarian. So if you and, and an Aquarian have something, you're going to be very lucky because you're going to be coming out of this very smoothly. I change up the energy of the reading. So I do the general reading. We look at all the house, the first house, the 12th house. Then I do the energy of the sun reading and the moon reading. So this is going to be good and positive. Um, luck is in the third house. I'm seeing a lot of people having luck in the third house. I'm seeing a lot of people around you or and in your environment. I'm seeing luck coming up in the third house and this is going to be good. And luck is in your 12th house. So if you're dealing with a Gemini, you're going to be having luck over this Gemini. Whoever this Gemini, whatever this Gemini was doing and have done, you're going to be having luck over this Gemini. I'm seeing some of you fire people doing yourself. You have to, con you're going to be con confront confronting yourself confronting yourself um and love is coming up in the house of passion the fifth house where are all your houses um the aries is in the first house so i'm seeing some unexpected things coming at you and um especially for the aries it's about you jesus what have i done okay so aries i don't know what you have done but it's as if you're going to be saying jesus what have i done because you're going to be realized that you have done something and they're found out what you have done. Then, um, the Leah's love is coming up for you. Leah's love is coming up for you. Leah's whatever is happening The um, love is in your house, the fifth house. And for, um, the Sagittarians, you have the house of the ascendants and that is the outlook. You are going to be showing people and help people to understand what it is to vibrate and how to vibrate a positive alignment from energies and going through these sort of things. Okay. So the sun is in the house of work. Okay. But, um, Gemini, but the, the, this is the house of the Virgo. So if you are friends with a Virgo on the work floor, it is going to be good for you. So let's see. All right. So I'm seeing that an, um, an Aries and a Pisces unexpected situation, but an Aries and a Pisces luck is going to be coming in. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So what we're here having 
is that we're having the Pisces unexpected um, something is coming up for the um, if you're in a relationship with a Pisces there is some unexpected issues or situation that is going to be coming up with a Pisces whoever the Pisces is and whatever is going on some unexpected situation and issues is going to be coming up for the Pisces so whatever that is happening and transpiring I'm seeing unexpected situation experience and things that is coming up for a Pisces there could be unexpected breakthroughs coming out about a Pisces so be aware of that that is in the self so I'm seeing a Pisces is going to be letting you know something okay so you Aries whatever is transpiring I'm seeing a Pisces going to let you know something that is happening your money section because of a cancer a cancer have created some issues in your money section so be aware of this whoever is uh, um, divorcing or moving or uh, getting out of the issue with a cancer I'm seeing that a cancer have created some financial stability in your money zone okay whoever this cancer is and whatever I'm seeing I'm seeing Saturn is coming to remove this um, cancer out of your financial zone so this could be a divorce or this could be something that has transpired okay then we have the energy of uh, Capricorns I'm seeing a lot of Capricorns uh, are in the environment that is helping you guys so Capricorns are going to be coming up especially Capricorns in your environment um, or going to be helping you to find luck luck they're going to be giving you luck um, in, in in the environment okay so you could be connected with a Capricorn it could be a mom it could be friends people in and work and that sort of a thing they're going to be um, opening up and, and bringing some luck I'm seeing some of you are really connecting with a Capricorn so you fire sign and I'm seeing that this is really good because um, they want to work with you and they want to balance out things with you then I'm seeing Mars in the family and some of you Sagittarius I'm seeing Mars a shake-up that is coming in for your family so whatever is transpiring I'm seeing a huge shake-up that is coming in for the you Sagittarius in the family so whatever the issue is and whatever the situation is I'm seeing a huge shake-up that is coming in for you Sagittarius so you gotta be aware of this and you gotta be understanding then we are having the energy of Venus Venus is coming in and a Venus some of you um, are going to be falling um, in love with water sign people whoever these water sign people and whatever that is happening and transpiring I'm seeing you guys connecting and falling in love with water sign people so be aware of this so then um, we have the energy of uh, the Sun the Sun is in the house of work for um, the Aries so whatever it is some of you could be successful over Aries or a Aries could help in some of you to have success whatever is happening and transpiring I'm seeing this negative forces of energy is coming in and it is in the work area okay then in love and relationship I'm seeing communication with a new love I'm seeing some of you could be getting married could be decided to get married whatever the issue in the situation is I'm seeing this sort of a communication and this sort of a situation that is happening in love and uh, whatever um, that is transpiring I'm seeing the energy of the Leos and this sort of a situation that is transpiring in your world and in your life so wonderful um, alignment of energy that is transpiring okay wonderful alignment of energies that is transpiring the note note the note of the Virgos whatever is happening and whatever is transpiring the north node and the note of the Virgos whatever is here and the situation that is transpiring and the Virgos I'm seeing some of you are going to be connected with the Virgos in your north node and this is in the node of intimacy so be aware of this and be understanding um, of this then I see the energy of the ascendance and the Taurus and the ascendance whatever that is transpiring and whatever is happening I see the energy of the ascendance and the Tauruses whatever is um, in this world and whatever is playing and whatever is transpiring I'm seeing new things uh, studying education um, that sort of a thing is coming up I'm seeing a Taurus is opening up doors of opportunities for you whoever you are and whatever is transpiring a Taurus is opening up doors of opportunities for you in your reputation I'm seeing some of you are going to be finding out that a scorpion tried to ruin your reputation 
but whatever the issue is and the situation is so whoever the scorpion is um you know your reputation is going to be standing firm because the scorpion has so many secrets by the time their secrets fall out your reputation is very good so i'm seeing a lot of you fire sign people sagittarians leo and Aries is that a scorpion is in your rep is in your reputation and a scorpion wants to ruin your reputation but um, what is transpiring what is happening you're standing back because this person can't ruin you okay uh, and ruin your reputation so you got to be aware um, as I said luck is here whatever the issue is and the situation is luck is here I'm seeing a lot of luck that is coming up. I'm seeing you having luck with a legal issue, whatever that has transpired and whatever that was happening. I'm seeing you really having luck with an, um, an issue because of the situation is that um, whoever and whatever is transpiring, I'm seeing a lot of luck coming in for you. I'm seeing you letting go of a Gemini. So I'm seeing an eel in between you and a Gemini and you're letting go of a Gemini. Whatever the issue is and the situation is, I am seeing that this is what was meant to be, that you're leaving and removing yourself from an issue and a situation that has to do with a Gemini. You're eel in a situation and you're walking away. So whoever this Gemini is and whatever that was transpiring between you and a Gemini, you're like, hey, let this go. I don't want to be with you. I don't want to do this anymore. I don't even want to speak to you. Whatever has transpired, you know, I'm asking for forgiveness for you. It's like you're saying, you know, you can't do any better. And I'm really just walking away from you because what you have done, I will never forgive you for that. So um, I'm seeing a lot of you just letting go of a, 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 a Gemini and just moving away, walking away and just releasing yourself from this issue and the situation and I'm seeing that you're just going to be thinking you know something it is good um, for you whatever you re receive um, because whoever this Gemini is and whatever they have done uh, I'm seeing so this so much deceptiveness what is happening and what is transpiring so there you are just moving away from this Gemini okay all right ladies and gentlemen look just look at uh, um, and and go and check out your own personalized reading because you will have more information okay okay so what we have is some emotional issues some of you Aries um, and some of you are having some emotional issues to deal with but especially the Aries you're having some emotional issues to deal with the Pisces whoever you are you are having um, you're emotionally imbalanced with a Pisces whatever is tr transpiring between you and a Pisces I'm seeing you Aries really having some off cast emotional situation um, with a um, with a Pisces and this could be a child some unexpected situation is coming out for the Pisces okay some of you in the money section I'm seeing as a theft a theft that is transpiring and it has to do with a cancer a theft that is transpiring and it has to do with a cancer whatever this issue is and the situation is Saturn is here and Saturn is moving this cancer out of your life because they have been stealing and cheating you for a very long time and um, Saturn is going to move this cancer out of your life okay whoever this cancer is I'm seeing Saturn removing this cancer out of your life there is a resolution with an issue and a situation that you're dealing with a Capricorn whoever this Capricorn is and whatever is transpiring I'm seeing a resolution that is going to be coming up between you and a Capricorn um, definitely I'm seeing definitely a resolution that is coming up between you and a Capricorn then we have an issue of work um, there is some deceptive um, people in your family you gotta be aware um, whoever um, this person is this person is uh, sly some of you are dealing with a Sagittarius and this person is very sly whoever the Sagittarius is they're very sly and I'm seeing you're going to be like okay um, you know let me just leave this situation and move away from the situation whatever is happening the Sagittarius is very sly you gotta be you gotta be careful who um, in your family is a Sagittarius they're very sly an invitation is coming in from an Aquarius whatever the issue is and the situation is an invitation is coming in from an Aquarius 
whatever that is happening and transpire I'm seeing new love is coming in for you Leo's in the, uh, the area of fun I'm seeing um, an invitation is coming from someone to go out and you know connect with and um, someone is uh, definitely I'm seeing a lot of you enjoying um, friendships around you I'm seeing a lot of you enjoying friendships around you changes are coming in um, for Aries at the workplace so Aries at the workplace I'm seeing changes is coming on in for you Aries at the workplace okay whatever is transpiring and whatever is happening I'm seeing Aries um, I'm seeing changes coming on for you Aries at the workplace I'm seeing definitely a move some of you are definitely going to be moving some of you are at a crossroads in your marriage or relationship and I'm seeing you definitely moving so whatever that was happening and transpiring I'm seeing a move in um the definitely moving is coming up for you fire sign people peace is coming in whatever is transpiring someone could be moving out of in your life and peace is going to be coming in whatever the changes that is happening i'm seeing an aries being moved out of your life okay some of you i'm seeing you at a crossroad whether or not you're communicating and you're at a crossroad whether or not you want to go forward or whether or not you want to do anything so this is going to be good i'm seeing peace coming up when it comes on to relationship and that sort of a thing peace is coming up then we have the energy of the Taurus and the Ascendant, and I'm seeing conflicts, conflicts with a Taurus, whoever it is, I'm seeing conflicts with a Taurus, whatever the issue is and the situation is, I'm definitely, definitely seeing conflicts with a Taurus coming up. This is in the house of the unexpected foreign peoples, strangers, um, that is coming up. I'm seeing communication. Some of you, a scorpion is going to want to communicate and try to ruin your reputation. There's a lot of secrets about the scorpion that is happening. And a scorpion is, uh, you know, speaking, um, about you. But you know, the thing about it is that the scorpion has so many secrets. If their doors open, if their closet door open, you will be amazed to find out what comes out. The cloud with an issue and a situation. If you guys have a legal situation, um, the clouds is there. So if you are a sun sign person that was born between 6 a.m. and 6 p.m., I'm seeing the energy of a cloud, a lot of talking, a lot of conflicts. Then I'm seeing a letter is going to be coming in um, either from the Gemini saying a sorry or something like that, whatever um, that has happened and transpired. I'm seeing the Capricorns and the Gemini had this in the 12 hours, as I can remember. So whatever is happening between Capricorns and Gemini, because I'm seeing a letter coming to a letter from the Capricorn. Um, and, and that was the 12 hours because they were releasing like, and, and, and here in, um, the 12 house, the 12 house is the house of the scorpion. And I'm seeing healing that is coming up and it has to do with the Gemini. Okay, so whatever is transpiring, I'm seeing like a Gemini wants to heal a situation. A Gemini wants to say sorry for something, a letter from a Gemini, whatever that is happening and transpiring. I'm seeing all of this and this is situations that is going to be coming up. So I'm seeing a whole lot of conflicts, you fire sign. Some unexpected news about a theft and a resolution. There is, um, um, you gotta be, there's some sly people around you. So you gotta be, and it's a Sagittarius. Some of you are dealing with a Sagittarius, very sly person, extremely sly. Then we're seeing invitation coming in and um, offering a new change, a move, and uh, peace is coming in. Um, I'm seeing conflicts. I'm seeing conflicts and whatever the issue is and the situation is, I'm seeing a, a lot of conflicts, but, and a, a Gemini wants to heal a situation. I'm seeing some of you going to be receiving a message, um, from a Gemini or that sort of a thing. And uh, whatever is happening and transpiring, I'm seeing that this person want to heal in, you know, whatever the issue is or the situation is, I see this person want to heal in. Okay. Alrighty, we're going to go forward and we are going to be checking out the moon fire signs. Okay, so if you were born, the moon fire sign. If you were born um, 6 p.m. to 6 a.m., 
I am seeing the energy of the moon 6 p.m. with 6 a.m. I'm seeing the energy of the moon okay so let's see what's happening let's see what is happening let's see what's happening let's see what is happening what is happening what is happening ladies and gentlemen so I'm seeing some of you are going to be successful um, with an endeavor if you had some worries over a Pisces I'm seeing that you're going to be successful I'm seeing um, a cancer returning abroad okay there could be someone who is overseas who is affecting your financial stability okay or there was someone who was living with you who are affecting your financial ability but this person is going back to travel they're going back to travel to where they, they came from so let's say that you were in a relationship with someone and or a business deal or something like that i'm seeing you being very successful with whatever that is transpiring okay i'm seeing a past life issue that some of you are dealing with okay all right so what we're seeing here is that some of you are going to be successful with a situation you had a personal situation you were dealing with with a Pisces you're going to be very successful okay and um, some of you were dealing with a cancer overseas I'm seeing um, uh, maybe they come from another country or they come from another state or whatever I'm seeing that they're going to be returning okay because um, whatever um, lies and deceptiveness I'm seeing that they're going to be returning Saturn is coming to remove them out of your life and to bring that balance in your financial stability and then I'm seeing Capricorns um, are going to be having long-term stability like in um, whatever is transpiring if it's at a workplace but it's if you, the environment can be your workplace or at your home I'm seeing you are going to be having long-term stability in this place wherever you are you're going to be having long-term stability um, as we look at um, family issues I'm seeing problems with the family whatever it is some of you could be having an issue with a Sagittarius I'm seeing this is someone from a past life this is family issues whatever that has been happening and transpiring I'm seeing this issue um, where this is coming from a past life issue okay so I'm seeing a lot of you are going to be successful overseas and especially if you were dealing if you were having some issues with a Pisces you're going to be very successful and coming out of that I'm seeing some of you are going to be if you're in a relationship with a Pisces or you're um, in some friendship a friendship is going to become a lover because this water sign this Aquarian is going to get pregnant this Aquarian wants a new start with you Leo's um, or if you are in a relationship with an Aquarius they want a new start here we're seeing this Aries whoever this Aries is here is you're in at work a lot of people are discussing you at work Aries so whatever is transpiring people or am um, really talking about you beyond your back Leo's in relationship is not looking good um, relationships is not looking good I'm um, seeing um, clouds so if uh, the, the energy with the lovers if um, you are married or um, long-term relationship this is not looking good I'm seeing a lot of clouds over this then I am seeing the north mold over the Virgos I'm seeing that some of you Virgos are going to be finding out who is the love of your life some of you are going to be receiving a message that people are letting you know and um, I'm seeing the balance that is coming in okay so I'm seeing a new start a lot of people are speaking it's going to affect you Leo's and you Aries um the Leo's are in the house of deliverance where there's relationship there's a lot of problems in relationship I'm seeing the end to a Taurus whoever the Taurus is I'm seeing some of you were affected by a Taurus overseas whoever the Taurus is overseas I'm seeing um, there is coming to an end to the story so some of you were affected by a Taurus overseas and whoever the story is uh, um, an end is coming to the story okay then we have the energy in the reputation I'm seeing you're going to be successful over the scorpion who tried to ruin your reputation so definitely um, this scorpion had some secrets and tried to ruin your reputation and I'm seeing you being a very very successful huge success is going to be coming in 
because you're going to be successful over the scorpion who was trying to ruin your reputation okay then i am seeing whatever it is with jupiter i'm seeing a friend is going to be helping you out so there was some situation that you have come to an edge you have come to really the edge um whatever is transpiring you come to the, you have come to the edge and you're you're thinking hey um i don't you know you're thinking about to let go and as you decide to let go i am seeing a friend coming in to help you out as you're thinking to let go i'm seeing a friend coming in to let um to help you out in the 12th house the house of elin i'm seeing a block um on a gemini whoever this gemini is and whatever that was transpiring I am seeing a block coming up on this Gemini. Whoever this Gemini and whatever this Gemini was trying to do, I'm seeing really a block coming up on this Gemini. Whoever this Gemini is and um, whatever that was transpiring, I'm seeing really a block coming up on this Gemini because I'm seeing this Gemini is going to be re removed and I'm seeing some of you are trying to heal a situation with this Gemini. Whatever the issue is and the situation is, I'm seeing really um, this Gemini wanted to heal some issues with you guys, but now um, a, um, a block is set on this Gemini. Whatever the issue is in the situation, I'm seeing a block being set on this Gemini. So, wow, you begin with the energy of the star and you end up with the energy of the block. So there is just going to be, some of you, you're, uh, someone could be going to the hospital for surgery for some of you. Um, some of you might be, um, if you're having a child, I'm seeing a caesarean section. So be aware of that, okay? Um, I'm seeing news and a block is going to be coming up on the Gemini because of whatever the issue and the situation is and the reason. I'm seeing a block coming up on the Gemini. I'm seeing a Taurus is going to be removed out of your life. Whoever the Taurus is and what they were doing is someone who could be overseas. It could be working in another company or whatever. But I'm seeing whoever the Taurus is and they try to do something, this is going to come to an end. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. Um, enjoy. Namaste.